Cal Poly Athletics is at risk of losing winning titles. The university is facing probation for violating the NCAA book scholarship program. KSBY News reporter Megan Healy starts our team coverage on this developing story. She joins us live on Cal Poly's campus to tell us what happened. Megan? Well, Karina and Richard, about two years ago, Cal Poly Athletics says they self-reported to the NCAA after they realized they overpaid student athletes for their textbooks. Now the NCAA is saying that Cal Poly failed to monitor those cash stipends. Unlike room and board stipends, the NCAA requires book stipends to equal the exact cost of books purchased per quarter. But from the 2012-2013 school year to the fall quarter of 2015, an NCAA infractions panel found that wasn't the case for some Cal Poly student athletes. The university gave nearly 260 student athletes across 18 sports an $800 book stipend. 72 of those students didn't spend the full amount, the leftover money totaling more than $16,000. The violations also caused 30 student athletes to exceed their individual stipends. Cal Poly maintains that number to be about $5,000 extra during the three and a half year period. Representative of the NCAA infractions panel said during a phone conference, panel doesn't think Cal Poly violated the rules intentionally. We do recognize there is no ambiguity in the wording of the rule and there is no room for misinterpretation. Cal Poly simply failed to follow the rule. Cal Poly says they self-reported these findings in August of 2017. A year later, the NCAA gave them a notice of allegations. Now, I'm joined by KSBY Sports Director Chance Dickman. Chance, obviously these violations must come with some punishment. Yeah, that's right, Megan. And the video you're about to see is from that three and a half year time frame being investigated. And I want to make clear that none of the sports and or athletes shown in this video have confirmed violations at hand. Now, here are the penalties handed down from the NCAA to Cal Poly Athletics. First off, a $5,000 self-imposed fine. Secondly, a two-year probation, which means stricter communication between the NCAA and Cal Poly. It does not mean suspension or banning of any type during the two-year probationary period for current and future seasons. That includes conference and NCAA postseason appearances for all sports. And lastly, this one may have the biggest impact, a vacation of records from the 2012-13 school year to the fall quarter of 2015. The Mustangs saw some of their greatest successes on the field and on the court during that time. Baseball made it to back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments after Big West titles. Football won the Big Sky title and made it to the playoffs in 2012. The women's basketball team won the 2013 Big West tournament title and made it to the NCAA tournament. And the men's basketball team won the 2014 Big West tournament title made it to the NCAA tournament and actually won its play-in game. But again, none of these sports have confirmed violations. Cal Poly Athletic Director Don Oberhelman issued a statement earlier today saying Cal Poly has, uh, has cooperated in every way with the NCAA throughout this process that began in 2015. There was never an intent to violate NCAA rules and when we discovered the issue, we self-reported it to the NCAA. Now, Oberhelman added it was an inadvertent error that was isolated in the area of textbooks. There was no advantage gained. Now, Cal Poly has 45 days to report the names of the 30 student athletes during that three and a half year period. Team coverage at Cal Poly for Megan Healy. I'm Chance Stickman. Back to you. All right, Chance and Megan, thank you for breaking that down for us. More terms of the Cal Poly's probation, you can go to our website, ksby.com.